four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so we started with the sugar push, cleaned up the basic whip, made sure everybody was going back on the anchors, of course, and then we had just this rotation, giving yourself somewhere to go back together forward on the whip. Then we modified the whip a little bit and created a little bit of a pre lead. Okay, going into count one where I'm creating just a slight rotation in the hand that opens her hips so that as I release it on count two, it creates the rotation a little more naturally, a little more subtle. Then we went into what's called a hustle whip or a slip whip. So I'm going to travel on two and three, giving her a boundary, separating out the arms. Okay, we started off with egg beater, separating the hands, clockwise circles, 180 degrees apart. We did the anchor version first. Okay, so that looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we changed it up a little bit, have the leaders traveling along beside her. Two, three, and four, five, still separating those out. But now on six, I'm traveling beside her. I'm going to do a scissor step while she does a rotating coaster. Sets her up for a spin off of an interrupted anchor. Nine and ten from the other direction. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve.